With the Indigo Disc releasing on December 14th for Scarlet and Violet, I wanted to cover the illustrious and mysterious legendary Terrapagos, diving into its mythology and inspiration to better understand it. So let's get into it, exploring mythology and gaming. First, I just want to say that at the time of writing and recording, not much is known about Terrapagos, so this will be a shorter video than one I've made for Ogre Pond. If you want me to revisit this, then let me know down in the comments. Looking at Terrapagos, this Pokemon has been theorized to be a normal, rock, or even a dragon type, all of which have seen legendaries in the past generations. I personally think that we'll be seeing the normal typing for this as many of the normal types throughout the generations are representative of their inspirations, much like Persian and Meowth being cats, the Teddy Ursa line being bears, and so many others. As for Terrapagos, its name is a combination of the terrestrialization phenomenon in Paldea and the Galapagos green turtle, not to be confused with the Galapagos tortoise. Thankfully, this isn't the only inspiration for this Pokemon. When looking at the overall design, Terrapagos sports every single typing on each portion of its shell, meaning that it has ties to every Pokemon since the beginning. Moreover, when we inspect the Scarlet or Violet book, depending on your version, we see this sketch of what is presumably Terrapagos, being either on top of a giant sphere or being part of it. A portion of the book reads, While separated from the research team, I found a strange entity, whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. If you've read anything related to mythology, or read anything by Stephen King for that matter, you've more than likely heard of the concept of the world turtle. If you haven't, the myth tells how the world we live in currently exists as a disc on top of the back of a turtle, swimming through the vastness of space, a cosmic turtle of sorts, that is seen as wholly benevolent. Funny enough, the Turtwig line actually derives from this same mythos. This concept and myth, recorded first between the 16th and 17th century, is seen throughout multiple mythologies, from Hinduism to the indigenous people of North America, and even in Chinese mythology. In Hinduism, the author Jananharaja wrote about the deities and the cosmology of the time and region in his book Noble Treatise, envisioning the cosmic turtle as a form of Vishnu, the protector and holder of the world. In addition, the indigenous people of North America, namely the Lenape people of the Northeast, believed in an eclipse that was so intense that it was believed to be caused by the great turtle that holds the earth. The Huron myth states that the turtle brought its shell before the sun and deprived the world of sight. Something I want to note is that many of these myths were written down at a later time than when they were first believed, as many people told these stories and legends of the world turtle by word of mouth for hundreds if not thousands of years, only being written down by scholars wanting to share the stories with many others. Looking again at their design, we can notice that their second form has long hair or long fur along the neck and front feet, as well as a luxurious tail. This look that Terrapago sports is seen primarily in Japanese folklore, with both the Honan Game and the Mino Game. In Japanese myth, these were both sea turtles that were said to bestow wisdom on the humans they interacted with. However, as I'm sure you've been made aware, the Honengame is distinctly different, as it has a woman's head instead of the typical turtle's head. These yokai were extremely solitary, finding solace and comfort in the depths of the ocean, and would only ever come out to shore to share an important prophecy or message with the humans and then return to their domain. In comparison, the Minogame would appear before humans more often, basking in the sun much like ordinary turtles, though in their interactions with humans, it's best to keep a good distance with them, as some legends told about how people got too close and were exposed to the toxic gas that the Minogame breathed. For these creatures of folklore, it's believed that the hair along their backs and on their bodies was representative of the beards of ancient wise men, which, in all honesty, may have actually just been seaweed that latched onto turtles as they came up for air. These two connect with Terrapagos, as both were believed to have existed for thousands of years, much like our certain Terra Pokemon mentioned within the Scarlet and Violet book. If you want more stories on Pokemon mythology, then click here. 
or maybe another video will entice you. As always, be sure to subscribe and like the video to show your support, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.